Hi, this is Tom Soane, and I have got a step-by-step -step guide of everything that you need in order to be compliant with every single tenancy that you do from now on. You know there's loads and loads of different laws, pieces of legislation, processes that you have to follow. So I've just written down the basics right here so that you can follow it step by step and get it right every single time. Now look, let's start off with the how to rent guide. That's the front cover of it. You need, need, need to give that to every tenant that moves into the property. And they have to confirm that they've received it. If you don't give them that, you can't kick them out. Simple, that's number one. Number two, obviously you need an assured Assured short hold tenancy agreement. It has to be signed by you and the tenant. It has to be perfectly written, i.e. your name has to be clear and spelled correctly, your address, everything like that. That's the tenancy. The right to rent guide also has to be completed. You have to take the right documentation as well. Have a look up on my Facebook page, that'll show you exactly what documentation you need to take, but you've got to get this done. If you don't, you can't kick them out. Energy performance certificate. This is something new, modern, fancy, fabulous, whatever you want to call it. But this shows the tenant what the current energy performance rating is. So that means they can see roughly what their energy bills are gonna be. It's really helpful for them, but also it's legal. So landlords, you've gotta do it. Your gas safety certificate, another one. You've got to get this done before the tenant moves into the property because they will need it. If you ever go to court because you need to evict your tenant, the judge will ask for that. Make sure you don't forget it. The way we do it here is we write this little checklist which has everything in there that shows you step by step that you can tick off once it's done. If you get, if you get the tenant to sign to say that they've received everything on that list, then there can't be an argument, can there? And lastly, I just want to make sure people aren't messing this up because this is so important. You've got to do an inventory. You've got to do an inventory. If you go to court because you're claiming damages from a tenant but there's no inventory, the judge is going to go, off you go, no chance. Look, the inventory has to have pictures in there, time stamped, so that you know, or the judge knows, or everybody knows, that they've been taken before the tenancy or before the tenant moved in. The tenant has to sign it as well. Once you've got that, there can be no argument about any damages that tenants caused. So remember that, rewind this video, play it again, write it down, or if you want me to send the, all of these documents to you, drop me an email, tom at tomsone.com, or pop a message through Facebook, and hopefully this helps you get the tenancy right every single time so that you're protected and your tenants are protected too. Good luck. First time? Yeah! <laughs>